13 reasons for hurting when J. Asher puts pen to paper. Reason 1. There's a chunk of memories missing from the middle of my life and I don't know what to do. I went from baby to beaten in that time I lost and I won't get it back. I don't have any recordings, no chronology of this to that, an explanation of what happened. There are a lot of reasons. Reason 2. It was surprisingly easy for him to be a fly on the wall. A child marking it with crayons until the story he wants is everywhere and can't be scrubbed off. No one noticed with their backs turned and eyes on glamorized teenage wrists. Eyes away from what we had to see. Fly on the wall. Reason three, if you tell us to ask for help, then reason four, why don't you ever help? Reason five, why do you tell us it will, he will, they will go away, that it's our fault for feeding something that hunts us around every corner, that it's the Netflix ratings and the Goodreads ratings and the constant attention that brings it back around, that we're putting spotlights on ourselves when we're trying to run a searchlight manhunt, why do you tell us we're on our own, why do you tell us to ask for help and then leave us on our own? Reason six, he still says he didn't do it. He says he did it, but he didn't do it. He knows what they're talking about, but that's not what he did. They're wrong. They're wrong. He smashes cassette tapes of women's voices and says those are all the wrong reasons. They're making up their reasons. He's already told you what happened. Reason seven. The marvel of the modern age is that you can delete and re-record your thoughts as much as you want until it's indestructible, irrefutable proof. You used to be able to erase something by talking over it and it was gone to time only for you to remember the marvel of the modern age is people can write letters now and they do not disappear. Unstoppable author versus immortal woman, survivor, victim, accuser, immortal agency of your own reasons for your own actions, reason eight. Some parts of us are secrets we don't want to talk about, and that's how it'll be forever, no matter what you say, or do, or think we should be. Reason 90 or more percent of suicidal people can trace these thoughts and actions to a mental illness or traumatic event. It's interesting he makes it seem like they'd be okay if someone had just left them alone. It's interesting that he considers these decisions to be his as the speaker, and her as his character, and them as the women around him. It's just interesting, isn't it? That he thinks it's an incident, that he thinks one thing happens and then the rest happen. Reason 10. I didn't even hit double digits when I learned these lessons. The reasons we act like this. The reasons to do what we do. To learn rape in the aftermath. To know sorrow and the depths of it. It's taken a few hours to write these reasons because I didn't pull them out of my ass, Jay Asher. Reason 11. It hurts. That's enough of a reason. It hurts because it hurts sometimes. Reason 12, we asked for help and you wrote an instruction manual. So she wrote a letter, so she wrote a letter and she wrote 13 letters, 13 reasons, reason 13. A throwaway man writes about a girl getting thrown away and then he decides to throw out every woman who thinks he's not some throwaway until the world is full of crumpled paper and overflowing trash cans. It's an unlucky number and a throwaway man isn't going to tell the truth when he doesn't have to, when he doesn't have so many reasons to believe and make others believe in him. Throwaway man thinks you can throw away anything and it'll all come back to the same idea. Someone wrote that he wrote that she wrote that someone else did something. There can always be another.